Hello, hello, and welcome to the number five of my tutorials from cinema. Uh, my name is Detlef Fischer, and I do 3D now a, a year, and I do everyday uh, renders, at least I try to do. And uh, on Instagram, you can find me on uh, det1971 underscore and from here on you can find a link which goes to my Facebook account and um, you can find my uh, uh, Facebook account also here so uh, and if you have a question uh, want to say thank you or to say fuck you uh, you can go here on the message and do that so in this case um, we stay on Instagram and I want to show you this render today how I have done that and how you can do that so um, I'm not going uh, like my last tutorial and make the whole piece uh, uh, this whole piece again so I just show you the way how we are going to do this yeah let's jump in cinema so um, we have here an empty viewport and um, all what we need to do is now to light on my cigarette and then we bring in a plane. The plane uh, we make 80 by 80 and then uh, when you have a higher, uh, when you have a good computer so you make it by 150 to 200 uh, in each uh, part here. So, uh, so higher so better. Um, the displacer you make a child as uh, to the plane and then you go to the objects and bring this by 55 centimeters to start with and in the shading you bring in a noise we go inside the noise we go and play uh, with the global scale we bring in a number from 555 and here we are we have something where we can watch at and uh, let's bring the contrast a little bit higher up and just for the tutorial case uh, I'm not going to make it very fine or detailed so it's just that we have something and um, when you are not satisfied that it's not smooth enough you have here also a chance to bring in the smoothing so um, it's uh, getting way better um, when you have it like this so sorry and, um, but I, I let it out and uh, now you select only your plane make a right click current state to object remove that one and um, you go to this one here to the H tool or I don't know what that calls so here shines also nothing up when I hold my mouse on it so I don't care select your plane make a right click on the plane here and then choose out the knife and on the knife mode you have to be on plane uh, deselect, uh, reselect to selection, uh, uncheck uh, this here, and then all what you need here is select cuts, and then uh, you choose out the plane by XZ, and then um, you select uh, slices, and then just for uh, to show you what it does, you let the mouse a little bit over that over the your plane and you see here it goes 25 lines from up to down uh, it counts automatically so but uh, I have to warn you because uh, if you do so much lines or even more um, this will produce a lot of uh, points and uh, later on also a lot of polygons uh, when we bring our drone on it so uh, if you want to do uh, a mesh uh, like this here so uh, I, hi I highly recommend you to do uh, the camera settings and everything in front that you don't have to move so much so um, yeah so for this uh, shit what we do now uh, I choose only six cuts I make a cut here with a click and then it should turn yellow if you uh, type or hold the key shift and press uh, C this box will uh, open up and then you go in and type in H and 
bring it inside here so we have here now a spline you can get the same result when you go to uh, mesh and to the commands and then uh, itch to spline here so but we bring this spline out and hide uh, the plane all what we need now is a sphere and the sphere we go down to two, 10 centimeters for this case uh, you will go maybe lesser than uh, two or three centimeters the segments is really important that you reduce them uh, let's do them to 15 you select the sphere you go to the mo graph and uh, hold down uh, uh, the alt key and press cloner you go here to the mode to the object take your spline into the object and then uh, by the description count you change it to step and the step account uh, it stands now here by 100 centimeters this means that every 100 centimeter will the cloner produce one sphere if we go now uh, let me show you the pump up so we have a better view if we reduce the number now slowly you see what happens so it turns to be a nice uh, line so I have now the sphere by uh, a size from 10 so I do that now by 8 that I have a good interception but that also that I see some roundness and the lines in between so that, this makes a little bit detail uh, to it here um, <clears throat> So you can see here also now that here are two colors uh, producing and that the colors are not have not a sharp uh, edge or what you want to call that here or shape. Uh, they are going uh, relative smooth uh, from one to the other and um, this will we do also now. So uh, we go now here and uh, I bring my cloner into a connect object with the same way with the alt. Uh, press C. So I have here one uh, element, what I like to call now element, and then we go to the side view or front view. Uh, let me scroll a little bit out here, like this. So we can make the display to ground shaving, and you see the balls here. So uh, to do this here, we need to to make a vertex map. So uh, and now we call uh, make a, a vertex map. So you select your element, go to character, to the paint tool, and uh, uncheck visible only, <clears throat> and then you start to paint. Uh, why is that not turning yellow here? Hello. It should turn yellow here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, ah, this is here. I have to, uh, on default, it will stand on add. So uh, now we are somewhere here. Look at that here. Oh, yeah, this looks so fine here. I'm asking you why I'm not getting to a, be a painter and why I have every day making 3D. So I'm a good painter. Look at this here. Damn. Wow, I'm so surprised here. So, now uh, to make it a little bit uh, uh, smoother on the uh, on the border here, you can go here, choose out smooth, you can change the radius here and do some stuff here, different stuff, uh, just check it out. Uh, I just touched the middle line here. So here's it a little bit harsh. So it's okay for now so we go now back to the perspective view so now you see what it's meaning here so it goes from here from the yellow very uh, nice to the red um, now <clears throat> all what we need is a material right so uh, now I show you how we can do that with the material this we will delete make a material uh, I do that now with the luminance channel in the luminance channel you can use the fusion and then you go inside the fusion we want to use this vertex map here and then we have to check this on here use mask go to the mask channel go to the effects and then vertex map one click in the vertex map and then drop in your vertex map so that's uh, for now uh, we have to do the blend channel and the base channel so we decorate that both with the color channel 
go inside and choose some damn colors out here and uh, let's go for red or for blue or for green I don't know let's do that so so that's all what you need to do so um, here we go I have dropped it now that on my element and uh, hit now render so you can see what it's happened here and uh, even you can use now the same vertex map on the reflection channel so let's choose the, the default uh, channel here and go down to the layer mask uh, go to FX again vertex map click in the vertex map drop in your map and then press enter and you see you have on the top the reflections and it goes weak down uh, to the bottom where no reflections is if you click here on the invert and do that the same way you have down under the reflections and it goes then with no reflections up you can uh, make different kind of reflections and bring work out with this uh, vertex map the same you can do on the color channel or on the transparent transparent uh, tr transparency channel you can bump this also uh, with the vertex map you are for everything open so this is uh, for now everything you can what you also can do with this blind is not only uh, not only this so let's uh, delete that uh, we go to make a sweep bring this blind inside we turn the spline into be a B spline and make it natural just that we have some nice looking stuff bring in a rectangle and on the rectangle you bring it to this one to three we bring this to 40 and just drop with it between and then here you go so you can play here with the height so it looks very uh, so you can make also this rectangle, uh, make it to natural and uh, the lines, you have to play here a little bit around uh, uh, to get here the geometry right done. So, uh, but you can get here some really nice stuff out. So uh, you can bring here everything what you want. So uh, just check out what you like. So this is just an idea how to make stuff for daily renders. Uh, yeah. Um, that was it for today and I hope you create something nice if you want to let me something know what you have created just write me over Facebook and everything will be okay alright I wish you a good day have a good one bye bye